California's Central Valley. One fourth of the nation's food is grown here. The state's record-breaking drought has been tough on farmers and families. But there's growing concern, not just about the water, but what's in it. I said that the water had a high uranium, but that it was okay, that it was okay to drink, that you didn't have to boil it. But it also said that if you drink it over a long period of time, you might get cancer. Recent studies by the U.S. Geological Survey found increasingly dangerous levels of uranium in the groundwater of the Central Valley. The same radioactive and toxic element used for nuclear fuel and atom for bombs. here is the raw material of atomic energy. Uranium is naturally present in the Central Valley soil, but intensive irrigation and the drought are making the problem worse. When plants are watered, it creates the chemical conditions that release uranium from the soil and into the water. As more groundwater is pumped for cities, homes and farms, it pulls the tainted water into wells. Well, this has been sort of a, a decades-long process that has um, occurred, so we expect that it's going to take many decades to like, reverse this. A 10-month-long Associated Press investigation found that California state and local governments have spent at least $16.7 million since 2010 to deal with the public water systems contaminated with uranium levels above the health safety limit. This is our uranium removal system. This elementary school near Modesto installed a treatment system to remove uranium after the water tested four times the safety levels. If, if they are living in this area, that is a possibility if they're on well, that is a possibility that they have better drinking water here at school than what they have at home. That's because private wells, which hundreds of thousands of Californians rely on, are completely unregulated for the growing uranium problem. This is well. The U.S. Geological Survey found one out of four private wells in the area had high levels, compared to one in ten public wells. The yellow symbols are the high concentrations of uranium people don't know because uranium is not one of the standard things people analyze when they have their wells tested. The AP tested five randomly picked homes with private wells in Modesto. Two of the wells tested for high uranium. I guess we started to, to like we learn to live with it because like, there's not much we could do. So. Scientists have long determined consuming water with uranium poses cancer and kidney risks. But studies underway suggest uranium can also cause birth defects, autoimmune diseases, and heart issues. And so we should not have any doubt that, that um, as to whether drinking water with uranium in it is a problem or not. It, it, it is. The larger the population that's drinking this water, then the more people who are going to be affected. Even though families at this mobile home park outside Fresno have received warnings, with no immediate solution at hand, they carry on as usual, drinking, cooking and bathing with the water. They really don't explain as much. But as dangerous uranium levels grow throughout the Central Valley, so do the health risks to those living there. Tracy Brown, Associated Press.